All I want to do is have some fun. I got a feeling I'm not the only one. All I want to do is have some fun. I got a feeling I'm not the only one. All I want to do is have some fun. Until the sun comes up over Santa Monica Boulevard. Hi guys, I'm back with another daily reading and that was the song that I channeled for you today while I was meditating on your energy and it was by Cheryl Crow and it's called All I Want to Do. So I'm just going to shuffle on your energy and ask God and my guides for messages for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and North Node. I'm using the Mean Tarot deck today. Well, I was guided to use it, should I say. I just add alcohol and alcoholism so either you or someone else might be you know using alcohol because i'm hearing deep healing here so i feel like that's needed for someone or maybe it's you i'm hearing bad influence i'm hearing influencer I'm hearing bad decisions, toxic decisions, toxicity. Yeah, so what messages do you have for Pisces, please? Messages for Pisces, please? What messages do you have for Pisces, please? Okay, so we got the Nine of Swords in reverse and we got the Four of Cups in reverse. Yeah, so I've got an energy of someone who's unemployed, out of work, I'm hearing. I feel like you're surrounded by a lot of energies that are having some sort of heavy influence over you. And it's to do with alcohol, that's what I'm picking up here. You might be around someone who always encourages you to go out for lunch and have like a, you know, like a brunch kind of dinner day or, you know, like, you know, when you go out for alcohol, like a brunch alcohol kind of date. That's what I'm seeing here. So this could be someone you're dating. That's what I'm picking up here. But I feel like they're on a low vibration or this is plenty of people that you're dealing with who always kind of encourage you to, you know, drink the day away because that's what they're doing. I'm also hearing homeless. So this could be someone who's staying with you who's homeless at the moment too. But you're the Hierophant. So you have a higher calling here. Or this could be God too, trying to put a stop to whatever's happening here because I feel like you need some sort of peace in your life right now. You've been encouraged to kind of, you know, drink a lot. That's what I'm picking up here. But this is not your path. This is the wrong path. This is, you know, somebody else's path and they're trying to drag you down with them. That's what I'm seeing here. So you're very highly spiritual, but at the moment you're being influenced to do the wrong things. I'm hearing funeral. So you could have met these people at a funeral. This could be old friends, old relatives, you know, past partners I'm hearing too. So take it how it resonates. But someone encouraged you to drink at this funeral maybe. And then you started to go on like lunch dates, brunch dates, you know, dinner dates with these people. 
And you know, they're fused with alcohol. That's what I'm picking up here, these dates. So these are drinking dates, like, you know, come to the bar kind of energy or let's go to the club vibes. That's what I'm seeing. These are bad influences in your life. You have a higher calling with the Hierophant. That's what I'm picking up here. So this could have been the last six months this has been happening in your life. That's what I'm seeing here too. I've got an energy of you feeling like quite green in the morning. You have to wear shades to kind of hide the bags under your eyes or that drowsy kind of look here. You might have a lot of headaches and hangovers. I'm seeing that too. But I definitely see that you're getting high quite a lot. So this doesn't just have to be alcohol. This could be drugs too, because I am seeing a white, you know, ship in the background, a spaceship. So I do feel like, you know, drugs are being used here too. So we've got the Ten of Swords in reverse. I feel an energy of you not having any time for anything else here. I feel like, yeah, you've just been thrown into this Ten of Swords in reverse energy where you're in some sort of toxic cycle, where you're not looking after yourself, your health, I'm hearing, or anything else. Yeah, you're getting quite drunk here. You're drowned in your emotions. It could be your emotions from whoever this person was who passed away. So you're just diving into the bottle, burying your emotions and, you know, just suppressing things inside of yourself. You don't want to accept. I'm hearing acceptance. You have no acceptance that this person has passed away. And you've been taken on a very karmic cycle here by the people around you. I'm hearing the five people you hang around with is who you are here. So I feel like they're quite toxic, quite low vibrational. They're taking you down. That's what I'm picking up. But you're the Hierophant. I'm going to keep reminding you that. You're someone who has a very high calling. You're someone who was, you know, supposed to achieve peace in this lifetime. And you're someone that's heavily connected to God too. But I feel like since this death, you've been thrown into a karmic cycle with these energies because of this low vibe where you're suppressing your emotions and not dealing with what's happened to you. That's what I'm seeing here. So you definitely, you know, seeking fun instead of dealing with your problems. You're looking for people who, you know, are immature. You're hanging around with a lot of immature energies. People with beer bellies I'm seeing here, people who just want to have a laugh all day and a drink and, you know, get really high. That's what I'm picking up here too. I see a lot of root chakra blockages here that are being created and it's because you haven't dealt with your past or whatever, you know, you've been through. That's what I'm seeing here. I feel like you might be putting weight on because you're drinking a lot of alcohol. It's making you quite bloated and, you know, you're consuming a lot of calories here. So you might not fit into your clothes properly or you might just not, you know, look at yourself and how you're looking at the moment. You might be quite unkempt quite immature yourself with these people around you five because like I said you are the five people that you hang around with so you're starting to turn into the same kind of vibe here and I'm definitely seeing someone who's homeless here who might be the cause of the whole issue that you're having with alcohol right now this could be someone that you need to let go of that's what spirit's telling me here because you know this person's no good for you and they're taking you down to their level because they're quite, you know, immature. They don't face their demons. They don't, you know, heal their emotions or heal their self or give their self the self-love and self-care that, you know, that you used to do. That's what I'm seeing here. So you're kind of, you know, following suit, I'm hearing. You're 
you're doing the same you're on the same level right now and it's quite toxic it's a very karmic energy a karmic cycle of dysfunction that's what i'm hearing here i see a lot of beers here being taken a lot of drinks i'm hearing top shelf alcohol so you might be consuming a lot of spirits here too these spirits are taking you out of character because you know alcohol is a different kind of spirit when you drink it you're putting you know bad spirits over you so they start controlling your life that's what i'm hearing here i feel an energy of you not really eating well either i'm seeing bananas here I feel like, you know, you could have a lot of blockages, you could be constipated, you could be, you know, like I said, swelling, you might have swelling in the facial area or the body, you just might be feeling quite off, you might not be going to the toilet regularly, I'm seeing that too. I'm seeing so many offers to go and drink and go and suppress your emo emotions by these people. And I've got an energy of you needing to cut these energies out of your life because they're constantly, you know, not being there for you like they should be. They're just encouraging you to drink and, you know, not look after yourself and not look after your vibration either. These are people who, you know, they don't really believe in God. They don't believe in a higher power, a higher calling, a purpose in life. They're just people who, you know, drink themselves under the table, I just heard. They're people who do not, you know, get counselling or, you know, heal from whatever they've been through. They just keep suppressing their emotions and vibrating hella low. That's what I'm seeing. They're turning you into the empress in reverse here. You're the empress, but they're making you a low vibrational empress. Someone who doesn't care, someone who doesn't try, someone who's not making that special effort that they used to make. That's what I'm seeing here too. Yeah, these are definitely friends that are on the wrong path. They have bad intentions, you know. They're very childish and immature. They don't follow the rules in life. They don't care about, you know, what they were sent to earth for. They don't care about, you know, about caring, I'm hearing. They just care about messing around, having fun, you know, just doing whatever they please with their life, without any real order, without any structure, without any sort of organisation, any kind of routine in their life. It's just whatever the day brings kind of energy. Yeah, this is all since this death that you had in your family, I'm hearing. This could be your mother. Your mother might have passed away and, you know, you, you're the type who put red roses on her grave when she died or you know when you throw roses into the coffin kind of thing you threw red roses in into the coffin I feel like since you know this person passed away it's really affected your life it's affected you not only are you unemployed like you know you're not even focused on what happened or dealing with it or you know healing from it you're just pushing it down so there's definitely a lot of blockages in your root chakras and the alcohol is kind of making you go over these you know bad times continuously so you could be overthinking a lot you could be you know trying to block the thoughts by having fun all the time and being very immature and doing things that you would never do that's what I'm seeing here so I see quite an explosive energy here one where you're quite angry and arrogant and you just don't care anymore you just want to have fun because you know you're thinking to yourself this person died and I'm gonna die so I'm just gonna spend the rest of my life you know having fun and totally basically destroying myself because they're not here anymore 
And yeah, I've got the Three of Pentacles here. This is like real cutthroat energy. This is like you're not only destroying yourself, you're destroying your mind, your soul, your body. These friends are, you know, trying to bring you down to their level, to their to their destruction, I'm hearing, to their demise. These are people who don't care if you get sick or wounded. They don't care about your wounds. That's what I'm hearing here. They just continuously encourage you to make low vibrational decisions. So you're following suit. You're following the sheep. That's what I'm seeing here. Instead of, you know, taking over the pack like a true empress that's what i'm seeing you're no longer leading here there's energies that are leading you into destruction into self-destruction that's what i'm hearing here too you're not focused on your career your job your your the rest of your family and what you should be grateful for so i see no gratitude being placed in your life here i'm just seeing an angry vibration of you know this person was taken away from me so i'm just gonna destroy myself that's what i'm picking up here i don't see any good energies encouraging you to you know get back into employment or to you know to study or to to create a better life for yourself here and it's because they're on that vibe that's their life so they're dragging you down too that's what i'm seeing here i see a lot of mean energies too like people who you know they encourage you to come out because you might be the one with the money who will buy the rounds that's what i'm seeing but when it comes to their round you know they're broke they're penniless they have nothing they're homeless too so you know if they drag you down to their level you'll look like them unkempt broke homeless too someone who has nothing that's what i'm seeing a very cold vibe these people are vibrating at a very low vibe of greed and you know envy i'm hearing and destructiveness i'm hearing danger too so these people are definitely you know plotting on your demise they're thinking you know she can be like us we can use and abuse her we can you know watch her and see what kind of you know things we can do so it's always plans they plan to do this to you that's what i'm hearing with the judgment card i also feel an energy of karma like you're carrying these energies karma because you're around this vibration and that's what happens if you're around low vibrational energies you start to walk in their karma too so you're definitely having a lot of karma right now or you're about to because of this vibe that's what i'm seeing yeah you might feel weak a lot you might not have the strength to get up in the morning kind of energy because you had so much fun last night you're not eating your breakfast you're not breaking your fast like you used to you're not you know eating the, the right foods what give you energy anymore you're just consuming a lot of you know low vibrational things here most of the time it's the alcohol I feel like you could have a dog or a cat and you know you're not even looking after it that's what I'm seeing here because you have no time because you're as high as fuck with the king of pentacles and so are they they're not encouraging you to reach for the stars you're just reaching for the bottle you're just reaching for the highest height you can get to which was higher than yesterday that's what I'm seeing here and I feel like you have quite a lot of money i'm hearing it inheritance and these people are just you know using you for that money when you should be vibrating high and making that money you know blossom i'm hearing things like you know investing that money and you know purchasing things for your future which could be for your highest good you're just wasting that money that's what i'm seeing with the king of pentacles 
I also feel like you're someone who created quite a steady, you know, foundation, an empire for yourself. And, you know, you're going down with these people because they're using you for your money. That's what I'm seeing here too. Not just your money, your empathy I'm hearing. You're someone who won't see someone else without. So you're just helping people freely. And this is bringing your vibe down too. Yeah, because with the Eight of Swords, I see a lot of hurt, I see a lot of pain, and I see a lot of people who aren't there for you, not spiritually, not, you know, emotionally either. This is a lot of angry people who, you know, just freely just walk the world without any direction, without any order in their life, without any sense I'm hearing too. So with the two of wands, you just, you know, you're humming to your own tune right now. You could be just looking for the next party, the next club, the next, you know, the next venue. That's what I'm seeing here. But you're someone who, you know, you used to be sort of an authority figure. You could have been a soldier in the army. You could have been, you know, a police officer. You're someone who had a very high vibrational job before this death. And, you know, you packed it all in to just live this life of fun and you know, I'm hearing mystery, but I'm also hearing misery. So I do feel like you're quite sad inside, but you're acting like you're not. And you're acting like you just, you know, the life and soul of the party here. Yeah, your money's going in reverse. You're losing money, losing family, losing friends. You're losing people that looked up to you here because you're vibrating at this level. You're not, you know, you're not giving yourself what you used to give yourself here. You're not helping yourself through this time. You're not turning to proper people who actually care for you here. You're just turning your back on them. You're turning away and you're making yourself do whatever you like here. You're not having any order, any direction. You're not on your life path anymore. That's what I'm seeing here too. You're not listening to your guides your family or anyone who you know saw you as a hero in the past you just kind of losing or lost that title because of what you've been doing that's what I'm seeing here and I'm not judging you I'm just telling you what I see in the card so you can help yourself to get out of this energy yeah, these are very childish people around you, people that never grew up, people that are stuck at the age of like three or four years old that you're dealing with. But you're the star here, that's what I'm seeing here too. You're someone who created a great life for themselves before you lost somebody. You're someone who, you know got addicted that's what i'm seeing here you might have you know been the type of person who had an addictive personality but you was addicted to your money your bag before but now you know you've, you've met these people or connected with these people you're actually addicted to you know childish things childishness you could have a child who needs you right now too and you know you're just not focused on your child you're not buying it the stuff it needs you're not helping it through life i'm seeing that too you just you know you're going back to your childhood and starting to be immature too that's what i'm picking up as well So I definitely see that you need to do a lot of healing. You have many blocked chakras, so Reiki could help you to heal from this addiction. And you know, it's time to start focusing on your higher self here. It's time to start, you know, giving yourself the care that you need, the self-love you need, buying the food you need thinking about your future when you're old, 
because I do see you getting older now and it's time to focus on what you would like to see in your future. I'm hearing dream big and I'm hearing your goals. They've all gone on the back burner since you've lost somebody and you've kind of lost your way here. And it's time to start finding it again. That's what I'm seeing. Doing the shopping you need with the right foods. Instead of buying alcohol and going out for, to eat, it's time to start saying no to them and yes to yourself. Because I do see you losing quite a lot here when it comes to people that you love. I do see you, you know, going very broken down into an energy of just anger, depression and sadness here. This could have been, you know, someone you really loved with all your heart and soul who you lost and you're not looking at it. You know, as, you know, this person could be your angel now. This person could be your, you know, your guide. You're not looking at, at this death like that. You're looking at it as a loss or you've lost someone. So you don't care anymore. You don't care about yourself. You don't care about your life. You don't care about the world. Yeah, it's very, you know... It's very hard, this, this energy. It's very hurtful. It's like you don't care who you hurt along your way. You could have grandparents who are urging you to, you know, fix your life. But you're just, you know, you're just cutting people out of your life. You just, you know, you have no self-control here. You're just being controlled by a lot of narcissistic vibes here so a lot of the people you're around would be narcissists greedy you know looking to use you and you're not looking at that because you're drunk or you're high that's what i'm seeing here you have a lot of abilities you have you know high performing energy that's what i'm seeing here when it comes to your you know your physical self and you might start to lose control of that too yeah i'm seeing the two of pentacles so you know you might be like i said unkempt you might be growing a lot of facial hair not giving yourself the shave the cut that you usually have you're just not looking after yourself you're vibing with a lot of you know like i said someone's homeless here that you're hanging around with this person could have a lot of tattoos a lot of facial hair they could wear glasses i'm seeing a lot of glasses in this this um reading or this could be you but i definitely see a lot of you know alcohol glasses that's what i'm seeing i feel an energy of you going broken homeless too if you don't let go of these people you could end up sick with this walking stick i'm seeing here too you could end up you know just completely losing all connection with god as well that's what i'm picking up you might have a lot of piercings, or they do, I'm seeing that as well. But I do feel like, you know, you're surrounded by angels who are trying to guide you, but they can't because you're too high, you can't hear them. You're not reaching for the stars like you used to. You're not, you know, focused on your future at all. So you're just going down. That's what I'm picking up here. And my guides are telling me to leave it there. So I hope this message helps you to, you know, to heal from this, to get the rehab, to get the help that you need to, you know, like grieving, counselling and, you know, stuff like that to help you over this, this, you know, this traumatic time, this traumatic experience that has changed your whole life. Okay, so this is your reading and I hope this helps you. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye guys.